Clark Eagles, you're tuned into the WJCM Eagle Eye News. Today is April 27th, 2012. Today is going to be a great day. I'm your host, Ashley. And I'm your co-host, Jacob. And now please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, Students, please remember to turn in absent notes, bus notes, and doctor's notes to the attendance office first thing in the morning. And now here's Mrs. Figueroa with the Student of the Week announcement. Hey, Jesse Clark. How are you doing on this beautiful Friday morning? Um, this happens to be the last day that I'm going to be able to talk to you before you actually start your state testing. I'm so excited about this. I've been through most of your classrooms. I'm going to go through the emperors and the pharaohs today and then I'll have been through the entire student body. You guys are gonna do a wonderful job. You did a great job on the learning checks. Um, just remember a few things. There are times, make sure that you watch your countdown clocks and make sure that you do your best. That's all we can ask from you is to do your best. Your scores follow you. There are decisions made about, based on these scores, but do your best, okay? That's all we can ask. And have a wonderful weekend. And here's the student of the week. We have the Explorers team, it's TJ Harvey, Navigators, Josh Watkins, Voyagers, Will Marshall, Emperors, Nick Shaver, Monarchs, Patrick Rayleigh, Pharaohs, Jonathan Brown, Admirals, Rayleigh C Craycroft, Generals, Cameron Cox, Patriots, Rachel Dressman, Seekers, Parker Sims. We also have the character names for April, and the character word for this month was friendliness. These are your friendly people in the building. Explorer team, Claire Howell, Ekaterina, K, I'm gonna say that, last name starts with a K, and Selena Ma Martinez. Navigator team, Kyle Browning, David Forish, Lucy Hell Hellinger, and Dominique Schlarb. Voyager team, Dalton O'Nan, Nadine Salem, and Susie Slusher. Emperor team, Maurice Graham, and Lizeth, Lizeth Cruz Montez. Monarch team, Gustavo Santillian, Samantha Scarantino, Aaron Wiles, and Noah Bright. Pharaoh team, Jenea Sarantacos, Derek Bingham, Admiral Team, Monica Tong and Sam Warren. General Team, Jacob Abbott and Ileana Yates. Patriot Team, Mason Allstadt, Chase Courtney and Tori Fields. And for the Seeker Team, we have Courtney Blair. You guys all come on down and you have a wonderful weekend and make sure you get plenty of rest next week for your test. Goodbye. Thanks, Ms. Figueroa. We have only five days of school left until K-Prep testing starts. Today's tips are, never let, leave a question blank. Always write down an answer that has something to do with the stated ERQ or short answer question. Two, before moving on to the next question, always take time to reread your response to make sure you have answered to the best of your ability the question that you're on. Please take the extra time to make corrections necessary to improve your answer. And three, if you should get stumped, reread and rethink the question and give it your best try. And now here's Alex with today's weather. Good morning. Today will be mostly sunny with, with a high of 64 and a low around 52. There will be scattered and with an east wind around 8 miles per hour. Tonight we'll have a scattered showers and thunderstorms mainly after 2 a.m. But after that, mostly cloudy with a low around 51. The east wind would be around 6 to 9 miles per hour, but the chance of precipitation is 30%. There, throughout the weekend, there would be raining, and on Sunday, there will be thunderstorms. The highs on the weekend would be 71 and 61, and the lows would be 51 and 47. Now back to you guys. Thanks, Alex. Today's birthday is Holly Smith. Happy birthday. Today's lunch is lasagna, breadstick, turkey wrap sandwich, turkey ranch wrap, mixed vegetables, fruit cup with yogurt, cookie, and chef salad. 
And now here's Ms. Chapin with a recap on Family Math Night. And also to say congratulations to Jacob for being so friendly. Way to go. All right, Family Math Night was amazing last night. So Monarchs in Miss Feely's first hour, you need to look at her, you need to smile really big, and you need to give her a big round of applause because she orchestrated the whole event, did an amazing job planning. And then if you have any math teacher in the building first hour, you need to turn to them, you need to smile, and you need to give them a round of applause because they worked really hard last night to make math night fun. There was 450 people there last night. So if you weren't at math night, I don't know what you were doing because you missed out. Second thing, today is our math reward day. We have not had a day like this um, so far this year. So remember students, if you are out of dress code, you're in sweatpants, t-shirt or hoodie sweatshirt. That does not mean hoodie jacket. And you must be wearing a sticker. Please be sure you are doing those things, all right? And last but not least, you're very familiar with this, right? Jerron Lamb, I think, you know, is known for this this year. And this is our three goggles for UK. Well, today, in our assembly, you may see something like this instead. We call these our two goggles. What do you think a two goggle is for? Not for a two-pointer, people. This is a two on your short answer. You may also have four goggles. This is score four on your ERQ. Just to give you a little heads up of what you're going to experience today at 3 o'clock at the assembly. All right, back to you guys. Attention eighth graders, we are assembling a video yearbook. We need your pictures. Please bring in digital pictures to the TV studio in the morning and submit them for use. And now here's John with This Day in History. Good morning Eagles, this is John with This Day in History. Today is April 27th, the 117th day of the year. There are 148 days left in 2012. On this day in 1947, Babe Ruth Day was celebrated in every ballpark and organized baseball in the U.S. and Japan. Battling throat cancer, Ruth appeared at Yankee Stadium to thank baseball and his fans for the honor. He died the next year. He died the next year at age 53. In 1973, Upperland Park opened in Nashville. Built as the home of American music, it featured a large number of musical shows along with typical amusement park rides. It closed in 1997. Did you know that in 1989, pro-democracy student protesters took over Tiananmen Square in Beijing, China? And for all you Phoenix, in 2006, construction began on the 1,776-foot Freedom Tower that will stand on the site of the World Trade Center in New York City. Black Fact Day in 2003, a 28-year-old Italian student took her final law exam in a hospital delivery room after administrators said giving birth was not an excuse to miss the test. Eight law school examiners gave a 30-minute oral exam. A couple of hours after acing the exam, the new lawyer gave birth to a healthy daughter. Tough test. This was John on this day in history to go out and make some history yourself. Not nearly as hard as k prep though. If you are a Disney Clark student and you're attending Dunbar High School next year and are interested in playing soccer, please call Carolyn Sagan at 224-7050. There are only 53 days till Jesse Clark Wildlife leaves for summer camp, June 19th through June 23rd. There's only a few slots left, so hurry and get your $50 deposit in to save your spot. The winners in the Pals Club Food and Supply Drive were Miss Howard, Mrs. Osborne, Mrs. Welgan, Mrs. Lewis, Mrs. Strother, Mr. Owens, Logan Martin, Mel Melody Harrington, Courtney Blair, Lakin Russell, and Cameron Hermes. Their prizes have been delivered. Thank you to all that participated. Guitar Club will meet next Thursday, May 3rd in the library from 4.15 to 5.15 p.m. They will also be meeting Tuesday, May 15th from 4.15 to 5.15 p.m. Please see you there. Teachers, please conduct a dress code check at this time. That's the news for today. Join us Monday for another edition of WJCM. Have a great day here at Jesse Clark Middle School where... Character, character counts. counts. Thank, Thank you. you.